Hello and welcome to a tutorial actually. Um so I decided that I was so proud at least uh in my standards I was so proud about my as you can see my stereograph here. And I decided that this actually took some time and I got really uh impressed with what you can do with a program uh, like with Photoshop basically. So I decided well I want to show the rest of the world, uh, well, I guess my subscribe account, which is like five, <laughs> uh, that um, it's really easy to make these, and, and you can even make them in Minecraft, which, which is something that I really enjoyed. Uh, so I decided, well, I'm actually going to show you how to do them. So what I've done is I've basically, first of all, gone in here uh, with the... Uh, with my thingy. Uh, now I'm I'm gonna have to do a couple of uh, fixes here. Meanwhile, because I forgot to do some things, but this is gonna be really quick. Hopefully, uh, yeah. Okay, that's actually fixed already. Uh, now what I'm thinking I want to do is first of all open open the texture pack folder because I want to go into the screenshot one, and I kind of I'm gonna leave those three in there. I'm actually gonna make a new folder because I want to keep those. So folder, blah, 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 blah. cool. Uh, I'm just gonna do this real quick. Uh, good. Okay, good. Uh, now, what I am gonna do is make sure that everything's still working. Cool. So, what you wanna do to make one of these round, awesome pictures is first of all, make sure you make this full screen. Though I'm not gonna do that because that would screw up my recording. Actually, what I've done is I've set it to 270p in my thingy so that's alright and it's gonna lag a bit because obviously I'm recording now I'm running at a quite a high FPS but it's gonna lag for you so I'm sorry about that now I'm gonna have to sleep through the night because I want to make this du during the daytime so basically what you wanna gonna what you wanna gonna do that's a weird sentence but what you're gonna wanna do um yeah I made it <laughs> is go up on an uh, like a hill because you want to have this picture uh, seeing the sky and that is quite important because it's going to help you a lot to make this look real nice um, so I'm just going to go up on this hill uh, I'm actually going to stand I'm going to stand over here uh, no not really, you want to have have a as, as an even like surrounding as possible, now I'm sorry about the ugly lag and actually the playing of Minecraft because that is not that interesting I don't believe so uh, how about I stand over here now that looks kinda nice so what I'm gonna do is pre press F1 to remove the toolbar then I am going to options make sure that my render distance is set to far and then I'm just gonna take screenshots so I'm gonna take one I'm gonna like do this as systematically as I can so I'm gonna take one now remember this is not perfect and I'm not doing this very cautiously or whatever so I'm gonna take one picture here another there and I'm just gonna do this all around basically and make sure that I keep it as even as possible uh, now this, and then I'm gonna do the same but a bit higher though still making sure that I have the landscape in every single picture because that is gonna help my well Photoshop basically to to keep everything aligned and then I'm gonna do the same uh, just a bit further down um, again just trying to keep as much like 40% of the the middle area in the shot and then I'm gonna do uh, two uh, three maybe down like that now hopefully I've taken a shit ton of screenshots which is good uh, then I will open this folder, refresh it because there's going to be a crap ton. Uh, th 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 that is not where they're supposed to be, unfortunately. Here they are. Cool. Okay, good. So I'm pretty much done with Minecraft now. Remember, this is not going to be perfect, and this actually took a bit of trial and error to make. Um, but what I'm going to do is then go into the screenshot folder. But I'm not going to need that actually right now. What I'm going to do is something quite cool because it's kind of finicky getting these scenes. So what I'm going to do is go to script, load files into stack, and what this is going to make is allow you to get all these files in here without any weird settings. 
and I'm going to go to browse and I'm going to copy the location of this in okay right. um, maybe you can't do that unfortunately so what I'm going to have to do is actually go and locate my thingies which is unfortunate so I'm going to have to go to um, what's that called uh, multi MC instances Minecraft then screenshots and here we are and then I'm just gonna grab every single one of those click OK and you're gonna see that they get they get uh, like loaded in here which is quite nice then I'm gonna press the OK button and actually find a, a thingy in my room okay so is that yeah that turned on it's a bit dark in here I'm sorry okay good now it's all lit up and I can see everything that I'm doing okay now here comes the fun part uh, which which is basically where you need to make sure that you're lucky and do things correctly and stuff like that so now what I'm gonna do is go into edit um, crap okay <laughs> whoops so uh, edit oh, here we go how to align layers you just press that simple as a button click and you're gonna get presented with this one now obviously like honestly um, I'm not really that certain of what all these settings do but you're gonna wanna go with auto and uh, perform vintage removal exposure so these are something you could mess with now I'm not sure which you wanna click in but I just leave them emptied I find that the best way to do it uh, though I've only done this a couple of times so I'm not actually certain of which which is the best setting now this is gonna take some time depending on how good your computer or not I have quite a good computer so for me it's not gonna take well obviously I'm recording so it's gonna take like th three times as long as it would do because usually I would be done by now this is quite weird uh, now remember it might crash and that is a really really annoying thing so Oh god, it's probably gone. No. <laughs> oh god damn it. Um I'm just gonna hope that it works out. Uh let's do let's do like a cool music thingy. Um bow chicka wow wow chicka wow <laughs> Oh god. Um Yeah, I'm actually like sorry that you're gonna have to wait through this. Um but actually I'm using a recording software which is not going to allow me to basically do this in a small fashion so I won't be able to cut it very smartly or maybe I'll do and you won't be seeing this um okay so now as you can see things got royally screwed up this is not how it's supposed to look at all uh wait Wait, 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 this is not good. I'm gonna have to remove this one. Um, remove this one. Yeah, wow, that is not good at all. Now, as you can see, uh, again, trial and error. So I'm actually gonna have to redo this, and I'll be back once I'm done, unfortunately. Enough, and things. Okay, um, as you can see, uh, everything got sorted out, and uh, these. This is the result. Um, I basically used the same images, so everything's cool. And now you should be able to see these weird little stripes, which look really ugly. And do not worry, because I have a solution, which is awesome and things. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is press Edit, then press Auto Blend Layers. Do they? panorama option and there you go you have successfully fixed your image and now it will look all cool and fancy um, now remember you can do this with with real life pictures if you want to but that's just totally gay and not real at all and I'm sorry for using that word as a a, a it's a weird word so I'm gonna say my apologies and I really I'm sorry. Oh well, I should really go off that tangent and um, actually show you what I'm about to do. So what you want to do next is basically grab your um, crop tool and you want to get as 
big as an image as you can, but want to make it square as well. So I'm just going to grab as much as possible, and that should be about it. And I'm going to press enter, and that's going to crop the image. Now, as you can see, it's actually getting, like, on two sides and things like that. So I'm actually going to crop it again. And this time, I'm going to crop it as precise as I can on the sides. You want to crop it so that you can see, basically, now, uh, it starts with a little bit of a gap there, and it ends with a little bit of a gap there. So I'm actually going to make it a bit bigger. Here we go. Now I'm going to press Enter. Cool. Next thing you want to do is right-click this... Uh, while still um, having all of these selected and press flat and image and what that's gonna do is basically make it all into one layer cool okay now let's get on to the really cool part which is awesome what you want to do is press image or uh, no wait you want to press filters <laughs> and then no wait you want to press image and press image size and then you're, you're gonna see that this is checked in, and you just wanna uncheck that. You're gonna grab uh, this, basically, uh, press Control c or Command-C on a Mac, and then do uh, Control v or Command-V on the height. So basically what it's gonna do is make the image a uh, square. Uh, cool. Now what you wanna do is go into Filters, press Distort, and make it Polar Coordinates. Now, what this is going to do is make it like so. Now, unfortunately, this is not really what I wanted because I want to have a planet. So, I, um, I'm going to have to go back by using Control alt z and then just do this, because uh, this is something you're going to run into if you don't do this. So, image, no wait, that's wrong. Image, um, image rotation, and then just press, nope. <laughs> Image, image rotation, nope, image, image rotation, flip, flip vertically, cool, there we go, now it's flipped vertically, and then you can go into image, image size, and do this uh, thing, there we go, and then it's going to get a square, and then what you're going to want to do is go into filters, uh, distort, polar coordinates, uh, and then if we press like 33%, 6%, yeah, I'm going to get a planet, so I'm going to press OK, and that's going to make it into a planet, cool, oh yeah, check that out, now obviously the bottom is, the bottom is at the top, so what I'm going to do is actually do image, uh, image rotation, and flip vertically again, because I want it to look kind of like that, which is a lot cooler, <laughs> so basically you're done now. Um, but what I did with my image, because I really wanted it to look cool, now, obviously, this is a bit of a problem, so I basically sorted that out by just using um, this heel, heel thingy, so I did something like this, and kind of did like that, but I'm not going to do that right now, because I, I kind of like it like that, it looks pretty cool. So now, I guess what you can do is really just mess around with the colors, um... So, for example, you could do hue and saturation and make everything look all nice and weird, I guess. <laughs> you can make it like autumn thingy and, um, yeah, just do whatever. How about we do, no, yeah, vibrance, that's a good one. And we're going to make everything really, really green and cool. We'll make everything look really dull, which I don't really, really like. And then go up with the saturation. And again, this is just going to make everything a lot clearer. And look at that. That is pretty pretty. Um, so there you go. That's basically how you make a stereograph in Minecraft. Now, doesn't that look nice? And you know what? Why not download this file? And if I can, I'm actually going to do a PDF uh, file download. So you can download the whole, whole uh, file and just drag it directly into Photoshop. You can see basically what I've done. Uh, hopefully, maybe. Um, so, uh, do that and check in the description for cool things. And I'll see you all, I don't know, when I feel like it. <laughs> so, goodbye. Blech.